Hey, welcome everyone. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to stream your PS5 console to a Mac. Now, if you're looking for the written version of these instructions, you can find a link to my website in the video description. Uh, so just some things to keep in mind is that this works best if your PlayStation 5 and your Mac are both on a wired ethernet connection. If it's not possible, like say you're using MacBook Pro, uh, usually it's pretty tough to get that done because of the USB-C ports and you have to buy an adapter. That's okay, you can still do it over a Wi-Fi connection, but best performance is to have a wired connection. I just want to give a quick heads up that this caps a 720p streaming. Um, uh, for some reason, Sony does say on the website in certain parts that you can do 1080p streaming. I cannot get 1080p streaming even if I use this method on Windows computer. Uh, if you want to see how to get this done for Windows, stream PS5 to Windows. I have another video explaining how to get that done. Again, link to that is in the video description. So this caps at 720p, despite some games being in 1080p and 4K. It's just a Sony thing for some reason. Um, the other thing is that the only real requirement you really need to get this up and running is your Sony account. This is going to be the same account that you use on your PlayStation 5 console. It's a free login. That's all you pretty much need. And of course, the Remote Play app, which I'll get into shortly on how to get that done. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is set up our PlayStation 5 console for streaming. So in order to do that, go to the main system settings menu, then system, remote play on the left, and then turn on enable remote play. Then while still under the system page, select power saving on the left, and then select features available in rest mode. In this section, make sure stay connected to the internet and enable turning on PS5 from network or both on. Step three basically means that if you ever wanna turn your PlayStation 5 on from the Mac itself, you can do that while the PlayStation 5 is in sleep mode. Now to get your Mac ready, the first thing you wanna do is of course connect your PlayStation 5 controller to the Mac itself. It's super easy to do. All you need to do is press and hold the PlayStation button and the share button together at the same time until the lights on the controller start to flash. When it starts to flash, that's when you know it's in pairing mode and then you can get it set up on the Mac itself. Then over on your Mac, you wanna open up the main system preferences menu then select Bluetooth and select DualSense wireless controller and that's pretty much it. If for any bizarre reason you can't connect the controller to the Mac using a wireless method, you can just use a wired connection actually. Um, you just need a USB adapter most likely uh, because the controller is USB-C. Your Mac, like a MacBook Pro, is also USB-C. The problem is the cable that comes with your PlayStation 5 controller is USB-C to USB-A. So you're going to need some sort of adapter. I'm not going to get into specific information you can find a link to how to connect the PlayStation 5 controller to a Mac. Uh, another video, I'll link to that video will be in the video description. We're gonna continue on with just streaming uh, mainly in mind. Okay, so assuming your controller has been connected to your Mac, we're gonna continue on. So what we're gonna do is download the Sony Remote Play software. I'm gonna put a link to the website in the video description or you can just simply Google search PS Remote Play. Open up most likely the first link result you're gonna get on Google search. And on this website, you're gonna scroll down a little bit until you see how to stream PS5 to a Mac. A new window might open up and you'll have to select control your PS5 console from a Mac or something similar to that extent. It depends if they update the website in the future, the layout might change ever so slightly, but you get the idea. On this page, navigate to the section for install the app, agree to the terms and install the app on your computer. The first time you use the app, you'll be prompted to enter your Sony credentials. This has got to be the same credentials that are logged into your PlayStation 5 console. You'll then be prompted to select how much data you want to share with Sony. Here you can select whatever option you feel is comfortable for you. On the left side is a small gear icon. In this settings menu, you can adjust the quality of streaming. Again, for some reason, 720p is the cap, as I mentioned earlier. You can adjust the frame rate. This is where you want to select that you want to actually stream from a PlayStation 5. Now, I actually had some major problems at this point. Uh, in order to get this fixed, I had to reboot the Mac. I think it's because I installed the app for the first time. I couldn't connect to it no matter what I did. After rebooting, it worked just fine and then I was able to actually scan for my PS5 console. It did take a few minutes to find it, but it did end up working. And after successfully connecting to your PS5, it'll open up in a program window. You can maximize the window if you wish to. The first time you connect, the streaming quality will be abysmal. It will take about two, three minutes, depending on your connection, how good it is, for things to kind of clear up and look 720p. Uh, in my experience, playing a game like The Last of Us Remastered was not a great experience. I have a rock solid Wi-Fi connection on my Mac, it was actually right next to my router, and then my PS5 has a wired Ethernet connection. The quality was clear, it's crystal clear, looked great, but the frame rate dropping was just crazy. I couldn't really do anything, I'm trying to aim the gun to go all over the place, and it was really wonky. It was a horrible experience, but hey, maybe yours will vary. I'm using a MacBook Pro with an Intel chip, hopefully you'll have a better experience than I did. And if you need to connect your PS5 controller back to your console, it's really easy, just connect it back to the console using the USB cable while your console's on. Just simply tap the PlayStation button 
it'll sync up and you can disconnect the cable and start using it in wireless mode with your PS5 again. And that's pretty much it. Those are the steps to get this done on how to stream a PS5 to a Mac. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, be sure to check out my social links and website link in the video description. Hit the like button, it does help. Subscribe and thanks for watching.